Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. This time I want to go over one of the uh, nicest commands I've seen in Windows for a very long time, and that is the net command. Has the net command has been around for gosh, I believe since Windows maybe 95 or 98. Obviously, it's not the same code. It has been improved over the years, but it's got a lot of functionality. Now, I'm going to have a disclosure here. If you are an experienced Windows administrator or security administrator, maybe this video is not for you. But if you're learning networking, cybersecurity, this is going to be a useful command that you're going to be able to have in your tool set because we're going to be using this on the local computer but then as we keep progressing into learning how to do different things and taking over a remote computer, you're going to be able to access that computer and run some of these commands there, um, hopefully without being detected. So uh, what I want to show you is this. Um, if you open up the terminal, this is a Windows 11 computer. If you go to the search box and you type CMD, you're going to notice that you're going to have the option of opening the regular command line. And if you do that, as you can see, that's going to be a command prompt with limited privileges. And as you can see, it's going to come over to your uh, profile directory. That's what you see on the prompt. But if you open the one that has admin privileges or run as an admin, if you do CMD, and you click on run as administrator, you're going to come to the uh, Windows backslash system32 directory, and you're going to be able to run the commands with elevated privileges uh, without being prompted for the user account control and all that. So um, uh, another thing that I want to mention is that some of these commands are going to work on the domain controller if you are doing this on a domain controller and some of these commands are going to be applicable only to the local computers as you can see here for instance we have uh, local groups which as you can imagine when you use this command you're going to be dealing specifically with local groups or groups that are local to this specific computer and also when you do the accounts, you're gonna have the option, the default, the default option in this case is to show you the accounts on the local computer. But if this computer were part of a domain, you'll be able to see the accounts on the domain as long as you had privileges to do that. So we're gonna be concentrating on the local computer for now. So um, I'm not going to go over all of them because it's going to take a lot of time, but at least I'm going to demonstrate how useful it is to, to use it and to, um, to, to go over one of the most common functions of the uh, command. The first one that I want to show you is net accounts. So if you type net space accounts, hit enter, that's going to show you the uh, accounts settings for the systems and something that you have to keep in mind is that these accounts settings are coming from the local policy on the computer meaning that you know like the password policy as you can see here minimum password length uh, maximum password uh, age and account lockout so on and so forth so this is basically showing you, especially if you're doing something on, if you're doing reconnaissance, right? If you want to learn more about your target and you use something like this, obviously I'm looking at this locally on this computer, but just use your imagination. If you're able to use this on a domain, you're going to be able to see that information that relates to the domain and not only the local computer. But... Um, what you can see here is all the settings that you can modify it, and you can modify those settings right from uh, the command line if you wish. For instance, as you can see here, we have the uh, force user log off, how long after a time, blah, blah, blah. It means that this account is never going to be uh, forced to log off after X amount of time. 
but if you want to force the user log off and you want to do it from the command line and this is also a good practice for scripting you can do net account space um, force log off and you specify that in minutes and you can say 360 minutes and then you see command successfully and if you do again net accounts you're gonna see how that user log off is gonna change from never to 360 um, the same thing that you can do with the minimum password length right here as you can see is two and that is the minimum number of characters that you can have on a password or that you need on a password or you can change that to uh, by typing net accounts and then you you get the the concept you do for slash minimum password length and you change that value to uh, five or anything else that you would like to change it to and when you do this then you're gonna see that that value was changed so you get the concept of what you can do with net accounts so let me come back here and net accounts basically as you see is going to be dealing with the account settings uh, offer that specific session that you are logged in as another useful um, um, option for the net command is net user actually this is something that I've used for 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 ages so net user right here and as you can imagine net user means you know dealing with users net user is going to show you the local user accounts on this computer but again if you had if this computer were part of a domain you could use net user uh, for slash domain and that is going to show you the domain accounts that that user that you are logged in as is able to see right so with the net user command you can add and remove um, you can add and remove users uh, right from the command line and if you type forward slash question mark on any command you're gonna see the uh, the options for that specific option of the command so let's say that you would like to add a user right from here you would do net user space add and then you will type the username new user right and then something interesting happens here and this is all coming in together if you read this error message it says that the password does not meet the password policy requirements so remember that we went to um, we changed the password policy if you do net accounts so the password policy that we have is that we have a minimum password length of five characters so if we go back to net users at new user after that you will type what the system is going to interpret as the password so you could do password as the password hit enter and that's going to add the user so if you do net you net uh, users one more time you're going to see that our new user is right here and also you can delete this user the same way that you added the user uh, by typing uh, delete but before we do that you, uh, there's something that you have to keep in mind if you want to get a specific um, user settings you can do net user space and the username right new for instance new user and you're gonna see the settings of that specific for that specific user as you can see here you're gonna see um, the country region this is all customizable by the way these are settings that you can um, add when you are creating the user uh, but I didn't do it as a default option but something that you can see here is that this user is active when the user was created so on and so forth and is the user is part of uh, users logon allow blah 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 the last logon this is super useful sometimes when you are uh, when you are doing investigations 
uh, and the local group memberships if the user were part of more than one group you will see it here but that user by default is only a member of the users group on the local computer so let's say that you would like to make a change on the user settings right and you would like to maybe disable this user or any other user so what you would do is um, let me come here so on the user and you're gonna see all the information right here right so username times active you're gonna use the active option or you're gonna say no so we're gonna do net user and the username what is the username for our user one more time new user new user and you're gonna do active and you're gonna say no and then if you do net user new user you're gonna see that this user has been disabled and now if you want to delete the user you do net user uh, new user it's kind of confusing I gotta use another name delete and it says that the command executed successfully so if we do a net user we shouldn't see that user anymore because it has been deleted something that you have to keep in mind is that when you delete the user by default that's not going to delete the user profile folder if the user has logged into this computer in the past so that's something to keep in mind um, another useful command let me clear this way here is the uh, net group right because usually when you work with users you're also working with groups at the same time or you're gonna be working with groups so when you're working with groups there's something you have to keep in mind you have groups groups and then you have local groups remember the groups is when you are on a domain right and the local groups are the groups that you're gonna be working with on this local computer so you do net local group and you get the concept that's gonna display all the groups that are configured on this computer and again these are the local groups and as you can imagine you can use that command or that option to add or remove users from groups but before we do that if you want to add a new group to your groups <coughs> so you go net local group and then you do uh, for slash add and obviously you have to add the name of the group we're gonna call it super group and then you do net group net local group I should say and as you could see you are gonna find your super group right here and if you type net group net local group super group you're gonna see that this group has no members assigned to it now how do you add a member a user to that group now let's get net user <clears throat> just to get a refresher on the members that we have on the user account so let's say that we want to add user one to super group we're gonna do net local group just to get help if you want to look into it that's going to show you how to do it right here so we're going to go net local group we're going to go um uh we're going to add and then we add the username right so this is the action that you want to take add and then the username but there's something that i forget here i has i have to specify the group name so i'm gonna come here and i'm gonna specify my group super group add user one and the um command uh executed successfully so if i go back to net group or net local group you're gonna see the group here but obviously you're not gonna see the members in this section because you are just seeing the group names if you want to see the members of the groups you have to specify the group and then we do a uh, super group and there it is this is the user that we just added to uh, that group 
Now, if you want to remove the user, it's the same command that you typed before to add, but you would do delete. And that's going to remove the user from the group, but it's not going to delete the user. It's just removing the user from the group. And as you could see, I have no members. Uh, the other useful commands that you can use or that you can explore in your own time, let me come here, is net um, sessions. If you have any active sessions or anybody is connected to your computer, uh, you're going to see those sessions here, especially, you know, like if they're accessing files. And again, next se net, net sessions is a command that is going to be uh, most useful if you're using your device as a um, as a server and by a, by a server I don't mean like work working you know like with the Microsoft server operating system if you are sharing files and you want to see who's accessing the files then you could use net sessions that's what I mean by you know you're gonna have this the, the server service running in in your um, in your uh, in your computer and you can also do net share you're going to be able to share um, directories uh, from the command line I mean again like I find this useful especially the net share whenever I am remotely connected to another system and I want to I don't want to like make a lot of noise or, or, or like take over the desktop so I just use the command line but so, some of the some of these commands sometimes is easier, you know, if you just use the GUI. Um, and also, if you use NetView, right? Like, you know, if you have any any um, servers in your in your uh, network broadcasting, you're going to be able to see that information here. And then you have Net Start and Net Stop, and this is how you're going to uh, start or stop services on your um, on your computer so um, I hope this video was useful and believe it or not these commands it, they're, they're gonna come really handy if you are getting into network security or network administration they are very handy when you are doing your uh, penetration testings when you are doing proof of concept of testing security in different systems this is what you're going to be using. Again, we just went over a handful of options, but there are more. And then you have more powerful tools with PowerShell that we're going to get into in the future. But understanding the concept of the net, of the net command is very important and very useful. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, why don't you consider clicking on the like button, subscribing to my channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section. I'll try my best to answer the question as soon as I can. Have an amazing rest of the day and I will talk to you on the next video.